guys and welcome back to Minecraft. Today is a great day to be playing Minecraft because I got the next like four hours to do literally nothing but build and I am super excited. So as you can see in our offhand, we finally made some moss stones. So we're going to start working that stuff in around here. Anyways, I want to show you guys, I got the texturing all done on that guy. I am really, really happy with how this guy looks right now. I messed with it a little bit more, added some leaves in and things like that. And I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, Cerulean Cappuccine, I think is how you say it. I always get it wrong. But yeah, he suggested opening up the forge and having a little outside area so they could be working it from both sides. I thought that was pretty freaking cool. So we went ahead and added this little workbenchy area out here using some acacia wood doors and a nice little cauldron and an anvil and all that good stuff. And I think I need to actually go in here and patch that little spot up there eventually. But I kind of like it actually being kind of showing that this stuff is actually held up, not part of the castle. But yeah, and we added that little vent right there for some heat to get out of this area because we there was actually nothing in there. So we got all that stuff worked out now. Now it's looking pretty solid. I don't think I've done a whole lot more. Oh, I hit the torches under the ground out here. So you can see we got some light gray carpet hidden around or just placed around and there's all torches underneath it. And this place is all lit up underneath, which is pretty freaking awesome. So what I want to start off today's episode with is actually going ahead and adding in a few of these moss stone bits just around the base. So we can kind of start getting some little interesting bits in here, trying to get some more of that green mossy color, making it look a little bit more weathered like you guys have been asking for for so long now. And I just kind of never really got around to it because I never wanted to go cut down vines. So do you guys have an easy way of farming vines? Like that's the one thing that I just hate doing in this game. I hate farming vines to make freaking moss stone because there's one vine and one cobblestone equals one moss stone. And it's just such a big pain in the butt. Like, I'll be honest, this, like one of my least favorite things to do in the game right now is going to make a mossy cobblestone. So it just really, really sucks. But yeah, so that's probably pretty good there. We still need to come through and texture up this guy. I don't quite know what I want to be doing on it yet. But I think it will get something pretty cool. And yeah, so this side over here, I guess we can go ahead and ender pearl into the wall there. Probably drop one right in there. That'll be pretty good. We do need to come back in here and work on this outside face going on. Yeah, so we can, ooh, I like this back here. We can get like one right there and one right there and that'll be pretty good. Maybe like another little one right down there. Make it look like really mossy with all the green grass in there. I think that could be pretty cool. But yeah, so today what I want to work on is actually finishing off like closing in the courtyard, I guess we could say. Um, like how we have, we made that main face last time, like the main entrance face. And I want to start by going ahead and working on moving over to the left side to finishing off, closing up that gate that we had there. I think that's pretty good for this stuff to be doing right now. But yeah, oh, 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 I did do this. We now have our map of Europe in Minecraft. <laughs> I somebody called it out. I posted it on Twitter. All right, uh, sent it to a few friends. I think it was uh, Braun, Druid, whatever he wants to be referred by. Um, he was saying this looks a lot like Europe, which I think is kind of cool. Like this would be like the Mediterranean Sea almost. If you look at it with a, like a slight like angle, maybe like that. I don't know. Looks kind of like it. But yeah, so <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. We got Desert City right there. We got our. So that's Papyrus. Up there is White Glen with all that dark green and the river and all the forests and stuff. Over here is our castle, which still needs names. Some people have been suggesting some awesome names down there. We've got in like Bleak Rock. Um, there's a few other ones like Sea Tooth Castle, Stone's End, because it's kind of like out here on a point. And then also the shore watch. So if you guys have other ideas, do let me know those down below. We've been blabbing on for a long time, so let's go ahead and get on with some building today. All right, so I want to start by tackling this guy here first. And what we're going to do is kind of bring this stone going all the way up to about where we had the windows leveled off on this guy right up here. And I think we're actually going to do it one lower. So right there, we're going to come up to this height right here for now. And then what I wanted to do actually was bring it out and make a little bit of like a white tutory area, kind of like what we've been doing a lot of recently in the other areas. So I want to go ahead and try and add that in right here. I love adding these little outcropping areas. So we kind of have something a little bit like that guy right over there. We could do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how it looks. And then we can kind of come back to it. So I want to space this out. I'm going to try doing every two with the stairs right now and just seeing how it looks it might actually work out pretty freaking well and we can just kind of close this off and do a little one i don't really care that it's blocking the gate a whole lot 
because I think it would look, I think it'll still look fine. So we can go ahead and do something like that. Then I wanted to go ahead and do like just a little simple stare and stare action here. I was originally thinking like, as I had the slabs in my hand there, I was thinking about doing the little slabs, but I, now that I'm looking at it, probably not. So what we can do here is I'm thinking just on this guy, we go one, two, three, just to bring it up a little bit. And then I honestly want to just go ahead and do like this one. And then over on this guy, can we get down there? One, two, and three. And it's already nighttime, so that is just perfect. You know, we're going to bring this guy up here as well because I think we're going to want it. So then what I wanted to do here was actually bring in bone blocks. I thought bone blocks could be kind of cool to mess with here a bit in this design. See, and as we haven't used them before, it gives us a nice bit of change in color almost for what we've been using because it's a little bit of like a more of a yellowy white instead of that's like our white white so i think it'll give us a nice cool transition but you can see in this area now that it actually is all completely lit up let me go sleep and i'll be back okay so i went ahead and just threw a little bit of a roof on here like a so just give it a little bit of a lip you can kind of see that right there we'll throw some windows and whatnot in that guy later that is my face and we go ahead and hop right back up on this guy and now what i really want to be making sure we're doing here correctly is the kind of way this is working over so you see right here we have that and this kind of works over by twos going pretty consistently this way and i want to do that and then bring it over to here and this is honestly going to be where we bring in the corner we might actually let's just go like that and bring it to three make it even and what i want to basically make this guy look like is so if we did that and we actually brought this guy to three and we could bring you down here sorry i'm just trying to think out loud of how we can make this work a little bit better so we could do something like that and we might be able to actually get that little extra bits of height in here or not height but variation so we have this guy at three right here this thing's going to be going straight back this way basically we're trying to make a bunch of different shapes right here that we're all going to work together in one to make our roofing structure so this guy's going to be coming back straight to here i'm thinking we're honestly just going to bring it over that way and you're going to be coming straight back in this way right here and you're yeah so that guy's just going to come straight through right like this and then over here let's see how long is this side so that's that's four so i guess he would be like right here so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so then let's count that out on this side and make that sure that is even so we're going to go with one two three four five six seven eight nine Let's just do it like that, make it a little bit bigger, and then we can actually go ahead and keep this going even. I must have had a, some sort of a brain thought something or another going through here like this. Anyway, so that's what the shape of our top guy is going to be like. And I wanted on these sides over here is it's actually going to be like a pretty flat wall. And you guys will see this in some designs where the wall actually contains the roof, if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and I'll just make a general idea of it right here so you can kind of see it it'll look like that and we basically bring the roof in like so right there and then down a little bit i'm thinking we actually need to maybe raise this guy up a little bit actually no we shouldn't need to raise it up more because we'll get the door kind of leaving out that side right there so that'll work let me go ahead and get these things in place so you guys don't have to watch me just blank blankly putting scaffolding down and i'll be back with you guys in a little while all right so this is what we got going on now it's going to be kind of weird to be seeing from this angle right here but basically i brought the wall up there i brought this uh, dark oak wood roof going back there a little bit just to fill in the gaps let me go ahead and fill this guy in right here very very quickly um, and let's see if we can't get up there for a little bit of a better angle and you can see so in order to get our little area walkway thing in i decided to bring this up and have a little bit of an extra little pointed area right here this wall is going to go up straight like that and it's going to basically just be a diagonal roof going along there and it'll connect into this big guy and I'll bring that wall up over on the other side as well. What is this height at 91? Okay, I'll go ahead and bring that up there pretty quickly. Oh, nope, we're falling down very far. But anyways, guys, I think it'd be kind of fun to do the rest of this roof for that section at least in the form of a time lapse. So I will see you guys on the other side.
Well, I gotta say, this roof is looking a little extreme compared to everything else we got going in here, but I'm actually really looking forward to incorporating some more things like this with these spikes going up. I think they might be a little extreme from close up, but I'm thinking from down here they actually look pretty cool, or at least they will when we finally get some things going on in there. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. That's pretty great moving forward from there We need to come down here and actually start texturing up this side and working in some windows right above there Where we're gonna have another floor I do want to work in some windows and things like that So I think we're gonna go ahead and throw these resources back in the chest that we don't need right now and Work on getting some of that stuff done. All right So I figured we could start this guy right up here if you didn't know this is where the gatehouse comes out to that little second gate And we're gonna little sneak a little bit of an opening into this guy and we're going to throw our door in here as well. It's very, very tight in here. I don't really know. We might have to have that gate mechanism on this side somewhere. Just hide it in there. But for now, it should be good. Anyways, our first floor is right down there. We do need to figure out a way to get down to it. We might actually just make this into one big open area and have this whole room be just like one really tall lofted ceiling. So I want to go ahead and put like oak um, kind of bordering stuff on the inside of this, which we'll get to later on. But I'm thinking for this guy, we actually might as well just go ahead and like, huh, how do we want to do this? For now, let's just go ahead and do something like this. I'm thinking we are going to go ahead and work our way down there. Actually, is this making a one thick wall? Yeah, so we don't want to do that. We actually want to be bringing this in and making it thicker just because we're going to want that extra depth. So we don't want to crowd ourselves here. So it's actually going to be okay to go ahead. We don't have any more stone on us. That sucks. It's gonna be okay to do something like that and just kind of have it trail down the side of this wall for now. Or even we could, oh, well, there, high ground. Yep, that's fine. I was thinking we could make it like a little bit of a mini spiral something or another staircase going on. Let's go ahead and get them up here. Cool, we did it. And we can go ahead and I was thinking, I don't know how I'm gonna do this and cobblestone right there. Cool, we do have one. So it'd be something like that where it's, then it's gonna go down and do all this kind of stuff and drop down here and then keep go on going down and all that stuff. I actually don't know if you can actually do a staircase in that. I don't think you can make one that skinny. So we might have to do something like this. I don't know. Either way, down here, I wanted to go ahead and get some windows in place. We can actually do them right over here. I'm thinking, let's see, how high is this guy? How many blocks do we have? So. If we want to do a window, we probably want it being right there because we want it to be too high. Then we can do something like that. Then we can go ahead and cap him off right there. I think that's pretty good. So we could do that one. Then we can go ahead and do another one right over here. We can do a little stone brick at the bottom. Cap him off right here like that. And bam, bam. And then we can maybe squeeze a third one in right here and push this back so that our window is actually back in this slot. And we go ahead and do like a double andesite and a double stone bricky goodness. Or we could even do a stone brick stair right there to make it a little bit better looking. But yeah, just something like that. I think it'll make it look pretty dang cool. At least I hope it does. But we got to sleep again because, you know, this whole nighttime cycle. Can we make it? Oh, yeah, we made that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. I like that a lot. That's going to look really, really nice. All right, I'm getting way too ahead of myself here. So we got to just take this a step back. We're not going to finish that whole thing today. That's just kind of a dumb idea. Cause I don't really even know what shape we want to do it yet, but we can kind of change it up here. So this is something I actually want to get feedback from you guys on. That's actually a great idea. Let's wait to hear back from you guys on this one, except there's a freaking zombie down there. It's not mob safe anymore. Um, this area right here. So you see, we kind of had it jutting out right there. We could almost just cut that back and cut it. So it's straight right here and bring that out and then bring it straight back and then bring it straight out again and just get some solid straight lines in here. I kind of do want to straighten this out right here at least. So it's like through there instead. And we can go ahead and just kind of place these right down here for now. Um, so it's a straight line right there. That's what I'm thinking. And I wanted to have this area as just kind of like an outdoor little, you know what? We are going to do this today. I, I got an idea on how we're going to do it and it's going to be really, really simple. So let me try and figure this out here real quick. Basically down on this guy, we're actually going to go ahead and need to figure out something to do on that guy right there later on. But this area right here, we're basically going to do like a straight line going up and have some little arched middle windows here. So we can actually maybe even do that right now with our stone brick on us. So we can go ahead and basically maybe, uh, let me go ahead and mess with this. I'll be back with you guys. So that's what I was thinking right here for some cool windows on the side bit there, but I don't know. 
I think it's a little busy, but I think I'm gonna leave it for now and just kinda, I think once we get texturing in there and it looks a little bit better than being all just cobblestone and kinda more smoothed out to look like this or like that, I think it'll look a lot better because the cobblestone I think is taken away from a lot of it. But I think that could be a kind of cool touch for it. And I think now let's go ahead and do another time lapse here. And I'm going to get the roof on that guy. This is going to be a big, big progress episode. So I think I have to be cutting out a lot of the footage. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the roof on that guy. And I'll be back with you guys later on. All right, guys, so we have done a lot of work after we got that guy finished up there on that time lapse. And I decided to turn this, I know we said we we're gonna originally bring this out and do like in an area to have a catapult or something, but I figured we're gonna do that kind of out in that direction because we talked about how we need to leave this area open here. So I figured this could be a cool area for like the Lords to kind of sit or hang out, just kind of walk through a little gardeny overhang area. I thought it was really, really cool looking. So I'm really pumped with how this guy's turning out so far. Let me grab some fish here right now. We're getting a little hungry. We need to get some food in us. But obviously I do need to start continue, or I need to continue working on this guy because it's not quite finished yet. Let's see if we can make this jump. Nope, no, 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 we're too low. All right, but we gotta go to bed. And then I think it's time to end this episode off here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you loved it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Also, let me know what you guys want to be seeing here in the future on this series. I'm always looking at, for ideas on which way we want to take this castle first. I got a bunch of ideas, but what you guys want to see first really matters to me. So do let me know that down in the comments. See ya!